There are two things that help us make better choices about what to do next that we often overlook. Maybe it's because we don't really know what community is really about or what it really looks like. But community can provide true motivation. Hi, I'm Misty Winkler and you're watching Simply Convivial, where I spur homemakers and mothers at home on to more love and good works through ideas, tips, and the encouraging kick in the pants that sometimes we all need. Welcome. Accountability, motivation, these are the kinds of things that we think about finding, that we talk about trying to figure out, but often both seem so elusive. Motivation and accountability do go hand in hand, and they don't have to be mysterious or complicated. Today we're going to talk about a simple way to build in accountability and motivation in our lives as mothers at home. Let's dig in. If I pop into my husband's office around nine in the morning, I do it with as much stealth as I can, blending into the background as I grab my laptop or a book or more lined paper. And that's because it's stand up time. And there he is standing, listening to his coworkers on video chat, explain what they've done since yesterday's stand up and what they will be working on next. It doesn't take much time, but it keeps the whole team on the same page. It increases their motivation to have something to report and it provides accountability. A stand up meeting, whether it's daily or weekly, is a part of what's known as agile project management in software development circles anyway. It's supposed to promote independence for programmers, yet within a framework of accountability, as well as give them a flexibility of focus. Interval planning was born partially out of my reading from agile productivity practices. In agile terms, an interval is a sprint, a focused work period, followed by a recovery and readjustment phase. Several years ago now, a few friends and I started standing up together weekly via Voxer. Every Monday, well, okay, sometimes Tuesday, <laughs> we would start a new thread and tell one another our top three tasks or our one big project for the week. Actually, before we did that, we were supposed to go to the previous Monday's thread and report on whether or not we did those things that we said we were going to do. It's easy to want to move on and forget about last week. We want to really seize that fresh start, but we learn and grow by reporting on the past, by learning what did and did not work and making adjustments for the next week accordingly. By following this process, not only did we stay aware of what we were each working on, but we also gained a measure of accountability without losing independence and flexibility. Knowing that I will have to come back and say whether or not I completed my weekly task helps me put down the phone, stop my distracting, productive procrastination task, and just do what I should be doing. Now, these friends and I were doing business-related stand-ups, but all three of us were homemakers and homeschoolers first. As bloggers and business owners only on the side, we understand and acknowledge that weeks often do not go as planned, that the best laid plans oft go awry, and there are many valid reasons that tasks might be postponed for the next week. However, we're also honest with one another. Sometimes the work that we said we do doesn't get done because we got distracted, because we didn't look at the list that we made, 
Because we actually just didn't wanna. Because we let the urgent and unimportant overshadow the important yet not urgent. And just having a place to share that helps us all guard against various temptations, but mostly procrastination. Now it might be possible for an accountability group like this to work by competition, by sharing stats or secrets to prove who's best. Comparison and competition, however, do not create true motivation. Anxiety isn't motivation, it's a sin. And although anxiety might spur you on for a while, it will then desert you, leaving you for dead on the side of the road. No, our little group does not run on competition, but on camaraderie, on like-mindedness, on laughter and levity and honesty. This kind of accountability works not only for business and project goals. Camaraderie style accountability can help us spur one another on to any sort of good work. Homemaking, homeschooling, holiness. As Hebrews 10 24 says, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. Camaraderie based accountability does not need to be official with rules and agreed upon terms. If rules float your boat, then lay some out. But remember that our lives as mothers at home demand flexibility. Hold those rules loosely as a guideline, not as whips. And if rules scare you, then you don't need them. Accountability like this is a friendship maker. Make a regular and routine topic of conversation be what you're up to and encourage one another to dig in and do that work with a cheerful heart. Later on, ask one another about how it went, what happened. It can be very natural and informal as well. Really, friendship-based informal accountability is a way of doing life together. In this way, we keep track of what's going on in each other's lives and we can pray specifically for one another and encourage each other meaningfully and practically, perhaps even by lending a hand or an ear. It doesn't have to look or sound spiritual or deep, yet it is. It is sharing the burden, even the mental burden, in an everyday, practical kind of way. The truth is that we care more when someone that we care about cares. And care is at the heart of motivation. Care is also something that we can give to one another. When we have a friend who cares about our eating plan, our home routines, our Bible reading habits, it helps us care more also. And that little extra nudge might be all that we need to make it over the momentary emotional, that is motivational, blips. Who can you walk alongside with camaraderie and care? And how will you keep open the lines of communication? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. This kind of weekly accountability stand up is at the heart of our community inside Simply Convivial Continuing Education. Everyone who joins the Not on Facebook chat community in our private app gets put in a small group stand up where we report each week what our top three for the next week are, but also how we did the previous week. It is such a helpful process. And you can jump right into a group with us inside Simply Convivial Continuing Education by enrolling. But you can also start this with any friend in real life, face-to-face, -face, or virtually using whatever app you communicate with most. It's a simple way to build real community as well as real motivation. So give it a try and let me know how it goes.